When Israel's enemies began shooting missiles into the Jewish state, they developed a system the equivalent of hitting a bullet with a bullet. That's just one example of how Israel became a world leader in developing state-of-the-art weapons. The story of how a tiny nation of 8 million became a global military superpower has been captured in a new book. When it comes to state-of-the-art weapons, the Israeli military has succeeded in such a short time, in under 70 years, in establishing what's the most formidable, powerful militaries in the world, and possibly the most innovative military in the world. Jerusalem Post editor-in-chief Yaakov Kass co-wrote The Weapon Wizards, how Israel became a high-tech military superpower. Israel is at the forefront of missile defense technology, whether it's the Arrow or the Iron Dome, which everyone is familiar with. Israel is a world leader in drone technology. Israel builds its own tanks. Israel is leading in cyber warfare. Where did all of this come from? How did such a tiny little country in such a short amount of time manage to achieve such great success? Kat says one reason Israel achieved this level of success is simply survival. 70 years ago, five Arab nations attacked Israel the day it was born, a country with no natural resources. What was the one natural resource that Israel had? The Jewish brain. And those brains were what was used to be able to survive. So when you have this amazing recipe of threat, of this threat matrix, of your back up against the wall, you have no choice but to use the one thing you have, which is your brain, and you have to innovate. And Israel did just that. Case in point, Israel's anti-missile defense system. The Iron Dome has shot down hundreds of rockets fired out of Gaza behind me into Israel. That's how Israel said, one second, we're facing missiles that are coming at us from Iraq, from Syria, from Gaza. We have to come up with a system that doesn't exist in today's world. And that's how they came up with the Arrow, which can intercept ballistic missiles, and with David Sling, which can intercept medium range missiles, and with Iron Dome, which can intercept and is proven to intercept over 85% of the missiles that are fired from the Gaza Strip. And that's how Israel has developed this amazing technology that's still highly classified to detect the tunnels that Hamas is digging under the border between Israel and the Gaza Strip, a technology that exists nowhere else in the world. Because Israel's at the forefront of warfare, and because of these threats, it has no choice but to innovate and to create. Not all of Israel's power comes from high-tech products. It also includes its people, especially how the army produces a culture of independence. We all think about the United States Army. Everyone's dressed in their uniforms, right? They, people take things very seriously. Everyone's saluting, sir, ma'am, all these terms. Uh, Israel's completely different. The ranks that you carry on your shoulder are meaningless to the in-between soldiers. That enables free thinking. It allows uh, the chief of staff to speak with a low grunt soldier and be able to talk about things. And when you can talk about things, when you can have that free flow of information and ideas, you can create, you can innovate. People aren't afraid to speak their minds. Mm -hmm. That's a huge advantage of national proportion that I think you'll find nowhere else in the world but here. While the U.S. provides major weapon systems to Israel, America's military also benefits from the real-life testing of its equipment. One of the things that the U.S. benefits from is that Israel is the first country that has operational F-35s today. So now imagine Israel is flying its F-35s and engaging in combat with it, whether it's in Syria or somewhere else in, in the region. That information is then shared with the United States Air Force. Kat says while Israel has shared a friendship with America, along the way it's also had a helping hand from above. I'm a believer myself, and I think that it, it, it can't just be that it's all on its own. Right. The, the hand of God, I think we see here almost daily in this country, in this region. The ingenuity, the, the entrepreneurship, the innovation is incredible. But there's, there's, there's that hand behind us that, that is pushing us along the way. Katz agrees weapons, technology and innovation are the centerpieces of his book. But there's more to the overall story. Yes, it's about weapons. But it's also a story about, it's the tale of Israel. It's a story of an ancient people that returned to their historic homeland and against all odds, not just survived, but persevered. And that is the, the story of the state of Israel. That's the essence of the state of Israel. Alpha.